Another easy clap, if I do say so myself. Another statics problem. Man, statics just was, it was like a fun course after you've taken, like, you know, dynamics and fluid mechanics. You're like, oh my god, statics was a fucking breeze. But when you first take statics, you're like, what the hell am I doing? But, oh my god, uh, these these questions should be, like, gimmies. Like, this is A1. You gotta be able to draw your free body diagrams, let me tell you. They already drew the free body diagram for us, if you couldn't tell. If you're trying to f draw a free body diagram... From this diagram, uh, there's something wrong with you because there's really nothing to, to draw. But uh, let's uh, solve this. Uh, sum the forces x, y, uh, no z, just x, y. Solve the, sum the forces. We could take moments, uh, but don't waste your time. They all are collinear. No, not collinear. Co coincident. Is that the right word? I don't know, but they all intersect at one point, meaning if you take a moment, it doesn't mean anything. You're going to get zero for everything, so it does not matter. There's no rotation tendency of this bad boy. Um, but we can sum the forces in the x direction, and which we're going to call this way positive. So uh, I'm going to call this angle uh, theta to simplify. Uh, you, you'll see why I called it theta, but uh, 300 uh, cosine theta minus uh, 260 uh, is that a cosine, man? I don't even know anymore. Uh, cosine theta, and there's nothing else in the x direction, so that's zero. So we know that uh, 30 cosine, blah, 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 wait, what? Can it equal zero? It should equal zero. What am I doing? Why Why is this? What are we doing, actually? The magnitude of n of the resultant force. I'm not even solving for, I am so stupid. Sorry for wasting your time again. Read the question. Now the pro tip, these are just, I do this on purpose to make sure that you guys are paying attention and um, yeah, so it's, read the question first, don't just solve, you don't even know what you're solving, bro, just solve for the magnitude um, of the resultant of the three forces. All right, that's simple enough, right? Um, well, I could have kept that, so it was 30 cosine of theta, cosine of theta is like, um, how do you say it? About a right triangle, right? So this is three, four, five, and this is theta cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. That's three fifths. Uh, and then two sixty um, cosine of alpha. Ooh, uh, what's this length of a triangle? Is it five three four three five? And then what's the other one? Oh no, I have to do the Pythagorean theorem. I don't want to do the Pythagorean theorem. 144 equals what? Uh, square rooted 169? 169, that is 16? God damn it, I don't know what the square root of 169 is. Uh, I lied, I know the square root of 69, or square root of 69 is a sum. Uh, I've been trying to figure it out. Uh, no, okay, Um, 13 is that, so we take... Uh, Jesus Christ, this this equal, this problem has gone downhill, as you can tell. Uh, just like uh, my, this whole series, it's so bad. Uh, alpha, uh, so we're looking for cosine alpha, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Of course, that's 5 over 13. So this is going to be the sum of the forces in the x direction. Um, so we'll, we'll call this fx. And then we'll sum the forces in the y direction. Um, that's going to be... Start off the easy one, negative 50, easy clap, uh, plus 300 um, sine of theta, which is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 4 fifths. And then we're going to add 260 sine of alpha, which is uh, opposite over hypotenuse, which is 12 over 13. Boo ba bing. And then all you got to do is plug that into your calculator to get the components. Correct me if I'm wrong, this should be equal to 140, and then Fy should equal to 370. Hopefully I did the math right. Um, but that should be the magnitudes of the components. Now, let's go back to read the question again. Let's make sure we understand what we're doing. We're finding the magnitude of the resultant. This is the magnitude of the components of the resultant. So how do you find the magnitude of the, of the resultant vector? Well, of the Pythagorean theorem, silly, of course. We uh, sum up the, uh, we do the squares of the both components and then square root them. Oh, I wrote that wrong. 370 squared, and then we square root them. So the resultant value, the magnitude of the resultant is going to be 
396 and that's in newtons there you go there's the problem solution i don't know what i'm saying anymore good luck on the fe exam 